Welcome to Anime Watch. I am Sokovi. Today I'm bringing you a slice of life comedy that everyone is sure to enjoy. So grab your girl, grab your man, sit back, and you know I can enjoy this anime. You don't have anyone that loves you? Did nobody ask that? But yes, ladies, I am single. <laughs> don't nobody want you neither. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. Shut, shut don't, don't, shut. No. Nope. Nobody loves you. Nobody. Really? Really had to go there? Yes, I did. You really had to go there? Yes. Man, I'll get up out this chair right now and whoop you. No, you won't. Name of the show. All right, so today the anime I'm going to be talking about is called Achikochi. And Achikochi is a slice of life comedy that's thoroughly enjoyable. I'll get that out of the way right now. It is a very enjoyable anime. No. Nope. Now, it's about Everybody this group of friends. I enjoyed it. I'm doing a review. I don't care if you enjoyed it. Most of y'all will enjoy it. He didn't enjoy it because he's a jerk. Maybe. But anyway, most of you will enjoy it. Now, the story of Achikochi is this. It's about this small circle of friends, about five friends. You got Io, you got Hime, you got Sakaki, you got Mayoi, and you got Sumiki. And basically... It's the interactions between these characters and the relationship that goes between mainly Io and Sumaki. Now, this anime isn't really um all that bad. I thought you said you didn't like her earlier. Maybe. Man, just Who are you? I'm just you dubbing over the track. Anyway, this mainly focuses around Io and Sumaki and how, you know, Sumaki likes Io, but Io is clueless. He doesn't really, you know, pick up on the hints. And basically, it's about their growth and their relationship. That's actually kind of cute. You think about it. Oh, so that was cute, huh? I just said it. But anyway, now, I, I like the art style in this anime. It was very comforting if um, that can be used in this scenario. You said it. It can be used. All right. And basically, um, it goes with the story very well. It's not really a plot driven story. It's not like you watch episode one and then by episode 12, uh, you followed something. Each episode, in my opinion, is standalone. It's not like they're actually following a story, but there is some progression, but not really. It's like so you could jump in anywhere and basically watch it without having missed anything. Um, I say they they individual stories and since there's not really any progress in the relationship except a few episodes something does progress um EO does open up a little bit but it's not apparent in such a degree that if you started with episode 12 and then went back to 1 that it would make that much of a difference is what I'm saying circles I'm not just talking in circles I'm trying to explain it better circles but anyway whenever like, you start watching this anime from episode 1 through 12, you will, are enjoyable. It's an enjoyable experience. You'll watch it. You'll laugh. You'll pretty much, that's it. There's just comical moments, especially between Sakaki and Mayoi, which to me are the comic relief of this series. Now, Sumiki, actually, you know, she's, they call her the cat, basically. She's, like, really short. Uh, she looks, she's the shortest member of the whole cast. Uh, she's the shortest member of the group. And EO is basically, you know, very charming uh, with the words he says, but he's not really outgoing like that. And he's dense, so he doesn't really pick up on uh, Sumiki's affection for him. And, you know, everybody else knows it except him. And, you know, he's very friendly and, and caring for her, but, you know, he's not picking up on the she wants to be with you aspect. And that's very uh, a nice play on the show itself because that brings in some aspects of Sumiki's jealousy or, or anger whenever other girls or people are talking to him. And so that's very cute in its own way, very funny. And that'll also give you uh, plenty of laughs as you're watching this anime series. Now, since there really isn't any plot to speak of, um, I don't really knock that for it because that's just not the kind of anime it is. It has a very high enjoyability factor, and I'm I'm very thankful for that aspect because you can just sit down, watch this anime, and you're not really stuck on, oh, I can't wait to see what happens next. But you're like, oh, I really enjoy what I'm watching. I agree. 
Oh, so you can agree with that. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. They really care about that. They really do. But it is true. Um, you can't really get down and watch any episode and just enjoy it. Sakaki and Mayoi are really the comic relief of this. Uh, Sakaki is forever getting injured. And Mayoi is kind of like a, a, a fix-it person. or she always, she always wearing a lab coat. And, you know, the interaction between her and Sakaki is is something that, that is very comical to me. Um, like the way they interact with each other because they have the same kind of thought process and, and mindset. So Sakaki and Mayoi are definitely integral parts of the story to me because they, they bring that comedy over the top. I would laugh more with their scenes than with anyone else's. <laughs> Never do that again, ever in your life. But overall, this anime is very enjoyable, and I would say if you haven't seen it, check it out. Watch one episode, uh, and then if you don't like it, well, I'm sure you will. But you might not. Now, this anime is very enjoyable. I would say if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. That's it for this episode of Anime Watch. I'm Sokovi. I don't know if that guy's going to be back next episode. I probably won't. Especially on the count. This was recorded like last year sometime. And now you just broke uh, up. Uh, yeah. I hope you found another anime you can definitely enjoy. And <clears throat> be sure to follow, like, subscribe, all of that. I'm Sokovi. Have a good day.